Today I'm back again with another tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn something very important about little bit security in your application. So previously in my video I showed you how you can create your, uh, any model in your database. So let's see why it is wrong and why, what way we should uh, insert our uh, data. First of all let's see what is the problem with this way. Uh, many uh, lazy developer I have seen including me I was also a lazy developer but then I came to know okay this is terrible okay so let's create a task name uh, uh, again with this one and see what is uh, the, what can be the problem so uh, let's add one we post okay you can see um, normally we expect task name like this okay so and we can create a, uh, we can create a record okay so let's uh, create in it uh, again you see we have created a task name but now what if someone trick with the system and give something like this which we don't have in uh, as a column in our system so what would happen is that it will throw an error okay so you can see the error is uh, like this uh, the SQL error because it is trying to insert on some column which doesn't exist so we are getting this error and also again with another problem is that let's say you gave this one and then uh, in our system is done is by default zero uh, okay so we are not expecting uh, to insert any record for is done but now what if someone comes to know and then he write okay let's is done is something to one and then what happens is that he uh, becomes uh, successful to insert the record although we do not want to insert the record okay so that is again a terrible wrong thing so what how should we can uh, how we can avoid it or what should we do so instead of passing everything you should do first of all definitely you should do some uh, begin validation uh, also you should do some front end vali uh, validation but front end validation will never protect you so what you can expect is that the discrete method expect some uh, an object and you can pass the task name definitely and then you can pass the data simply you can pass request all the task name okay so uh, even if you pass is done or whatever you want to pass it doesn't matter so yeah if, if you see you see is done is uh, by default false yeah you see although I have passed is done it will have no effect time perfect um, okay but still you will have a problem uh, whether task name exists or not so you have you, you can solve it using the validation it has to be present it has to be string it has to uh, uh, match with some particular format so you can do those things okay so this is uh, one solution which you always should use there are many other ways as well but this one works well and let's see what uh, what is the problem with the security first of all normally uh, there is no problem we are uh, with the get but if this uh, route or this mm, method is intended for the uh, authenticated users so you have to do some validation up here and here is the problem is update task again okay so normally let's say uh, you want to uh, the exact same thing I hope you under uh, you will be able to easily understand that part so let's say you want to update it and you want to uh, you just want to update this um, is done okay you just want to update or maybe you want to update this one uh, let's say maybe updated uh, update query update task let's set task name updated and where id equal okay we have not passed the id that's why we're getting an error so yes yeah, so that is why you have to uh, put your validation uh, here at the top uh, so that you can have the data that you are, you are expecting always uh, validate your data that you want to uh, that you are expecting and never trust the data like this because that all okay uh, and also uh, the same thing that we are fa uh, we faced in create method if you want to update let's say you want to update task name but uh, the user can pass is done as well so if you pass is done equal one then is done will also be updated so what you have to do is that you have to, you have to update exactly same way the way you updated this one okay so if you want to update task name you update this way if you want to update is done you update is done okay so that this way you can uh, be sure that the record you want you want to update is getting updated okay and now let's talk about what is the problem with delete does no uh, right now it doesn't have any problem but in future when you have uh, some user data for example let's say you are logged in and you want to delete some of the user records okay 
now if you uh, run th uh, this way the query every and uh, almost everyone does this so if you run this kind of query it will be uh, really really terrible but someone pe uh, sometimes people check okay if uh, logged in uh, then go ahead otherwise they return but still it is uh, false first of all you check if logged in then you have to check if you are the owner of the record so you have to uh, check two things okay first of all you have to check uh, logged in then you have to check oh, that you are the owner so uh, how do you check the owner so let's say uh, you have a user id in place there so you have to even though it user id uh, logic is not required you have st you have to pass user id as well so maybe you can pass uid like this okay so that means uh, the record that belongs to this user id that you are uh, that the authenticated user will get then deleted so that way you can make sure that the record uh, owner is deleting the record no one uh, other than him no one else okay because uh, now uh, you can expect that okay I have made my front-end logic this way and that way it doesn't make any sense anyone can send recorded in postman or curl or any terminal okay that um, many of the new developer uh, is not aware of that and I saw many many time uh, people do not check uh, the owner of the record and this is terrible okay okay guys uh thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and comment your valuable feedback and i'm new hopefully i will be able to grow and also let me know how i can make um, better videos and in my coming videos I will go, i'm going to develop some very good application project-based application and also teach you how you can earn a lot of monies and yes i mean a lot of monies I wanted to show you my uh, personal profile, uh, but I don't want to. And uh, if any, if you want to want to really see how the freelancing ta uh, works or uh, how you can earn money, just ping me, message me anywhere. I will try to help you out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice time. Bye.